I searched very long. I found an answer, but I, I, I feel that it was from Shia. So, um, there came a man to our house, and he, he said that that he ate pork, and then he drank from a glass of water. So, some of his spit came on there. Okay, and he ate pork like a few hours ago. So, I know there was Nechessa on that um on that glass, and that glass was wiped with a sponge, and this sponge came on many other other things. And I know you. Some sometimes hesitant to answer such questions, by, but give me an idea. How far does it spread? Is it ten plates? Is it is it one touch? Is it is it twenty plates? Is now the whole kitchen is, is must 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 I burn the house? Just tell me a rough idea. How far does how far does it spread? One spread, two spread. Yeah, Jonas. Yeah, Jonas. This is that is nicht gut. Warum? Because what you're doing is cascading things. It is a ripple effect that Shaitan is throwing in your head. This is exaggeration and overthinking. Now, he ate pork and dead meat and living monkeys and uh, um, dogs and, and, and whatever. Definitely 100% najis. He is not najis. His sweat is not najis. And his saliva is not najis. Because when I describe what is on the glass, I say a man's saliva. I wouldn't say it's pork. I wouldn't say it's rotten dogs. It's saliva. Now, when someone drinks from a glass and there's a saliva, I don't take it to the lab and ask them, please, can you check what he had for dinner and lunch the past 12 hours? just to know whether it's nudges or not. So you don't have to burn the house. You don't have to check. You don't have to wash your hands after shaking hands with him because there is no pork on my hand. There is no pork on the glass. So don't let shaitan exaggerate things in your head that has no basis. Ask yourself two questions. Number one. Is Islam a religion of ease and simplicity? Or, number two, is Islam a religion of hardship and difficulty? Of course you're going to say number one. Islam is a religion of ease and simplicity. Ask yourself a second question. What are you practicing in your daily life? Ease and simplicity or hardship and difficulty? You're going to say definitely hardship and difficulty. In this case, you are not practicing Islam, maybe Buddhism, maybe Hinduism, maybe I don't know what religion you're following because my religion is not what you're practicing. And I hope this makes sense.